Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question, course schedule. There are a total of um, num courses you have to take, uh, labeled from 0 to num course minus 1. You are given array uh, prerequisites where um, prerequisites i equal ai and bi indicates that you must take course bi first if you want to take course ai uh, like this. So for example, uh, the pair 0, 1 indicates that uh, to take course 0, uh, you have to first take course 1. Return true if you can finish all courses, otherwise return false. So let's see the example. So you are given num course equal 2 and the prerequisite uh, uh, 1, 0. So we have to take, um, in this case, uh, we have to take course 0 first, then um, take course 1, like this. So in this case, uh, we can um, take uh, all courses, 0, 1, um, successfully. So that's why output is true. So let's see the example. So course, uh, num course is 2. So prerequisite is uh, 1, 0, or 0, 1. So if you want to take course 1 at first, we have to take uh, course 0. But the uh, second case is uh, like opposite. If you want to take a uh, uh, course zero, uh, you have to take course one. Um, so it doesn't add up. So that's why in this case, uh, return false. Okay, so let me explain with this example, zero, one, zero, two, two, three, one, four, one, five. And uh, uh, this is a hash map, and each course needs uh, this prerequisite. So course zero needs uh, course one and course two, and course one needs to course four and course five, and uh, course two needs course three, and uh, three course three four five uh, are empty. So that means uh, no prerequisite required. So look at uh, this um, graph chart. So three, four, five. So after that, after these three nodes, um, there's no node here. So that's why um, prerequisite of um, three, course three, four, five are empty, which means we can uh, definitely complete course three and course four and course five. So, um, so I think uh, I believe uh, somebody wondering. Uh, this arrow is uh, like an opposite of a uh, description we read. So description said if we want to take course zero, uh, before that we have to take course one. So arrow should be like this. But um, we traverse this graph uh, with text for such, uh, we uh, like a, like this way. So that's why um, this these arrows are like an opposite of a uh, description. So Okay, um, let's move on the, uh, let's traverse uh, each node uh, with this first search. So from course zero, so let's move course one, and uh, course one is four and five, so let's move down uh, course four. So like uh, from course zero, um, move down to one, and move one, and uh, we have two choice, and four and five, and move four. Then now we reach the course four, and uh, uh, as I explained earlier, so course 4 is um, like a no prerequisite. So that means we can definitely complete course 4. So uh, there's no pass here. So let's move back course 1. And uh, um, so before that, uh, before um, we, go, uh, we go back to, uh, we move on the 5. So um, we can complete the course 4, definitely. So remove the uh, course 4 from a, a prerequisite of course 1. And then move 5. And uh, so like from 1 to 5. And uh, it turns out 5 also uh, doesn't need like a prerequisite course. So that, that means we can definitely uh, complete course 5. And uh, there's no pass, so we move back to 1. And uh, 
So yeah, we completely uh, all passes. So let's move, move back to zero. But before that, um, we can complete course five. So remove course five from the prerequisite of course one. So now course one, a prerequisite of course one is now empty. So that means uh, we can complete um, course one, definitely. And yes, uh, let's move back. And then uh, before move two, so we can uh, complete uh, uh, course one. So remove um, one from a prerequisite of uh, course zero. And then move two and uh, from zero to two. And uh, course two needs a uh, course three, uh, three. And then move three and three. And uh, three doesn't uh, need a prerequisite course. So we can complete, uh, we can definitely complete uh, course three. So, and there is no pass, so let's move back. And uh, we can complete uh, course three, so that's why remove three from a prerequisite of uh, course two. And then um, go back to uh, zero, and go back to zero. And then now um, prerequisite of course two is empty. So that that means we can uh, complete um, course two. So that's why we remove um, two from a, a prerequisite of course zero. Yeah. So now uh, actually we can uh, take uh, all courses like from zero to five. So that means uh, in this case we can uh, return true because we take uh, all courses um, successfully. Okay, so let me explain first case. So I added uh, this arrow from course four to zero, uh, this one. And uh, let's begin from zero. Um, so zero needs to course one. And uh, course one needs to four and five. So move down four. And uh, four needs to um, zero, course zero. So move to course zero. So that means it's impossible, right? So what I'm trying to say is that if we find uh, like a circle, that's impossible. So how can we find a circle? So it's very simple. So we need to like a uh, set. So every time we take the course, um, so we add that course to set so that we can understand uh, which course already taken uh, easily. So start from zero, so add zero to set and move um, down and to one and uh, one needs to four and five. So let's move down four. So before that add one to set and then um, four needs to zero, so move zero. Before that, add four to set, and then um, zero. And uh, we already uh, uh, taken the zero, so it's impossible. That is our basic idea to solve this question. With that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a um, map. So pre equal default dict and a list. Then um, uh, add a value to uh, pre map. So for calls and uh, pre uh, prerequisite in uh, pre uh, requisite. And then um, pre and the uh, calls dot append and the value should be prerequisite. And then um, taken um, initialize with set. After that, um, create a def for such. So def uh, def for such and uh, taking a uh, calls. And first of all, uh, check the base case. 
So if not um, pre and the cause, so uh, prerequisite of that cause is empty. That means uh, we can uh, definitely complete the cause. So in that case, return true. And uh, if cause in already taken, in that case, um, the, uh, uh, there is a circle in the graph, so that's why uh, false. After that, um, add a current cause to taken, so add cause. And then after that, um, check the each prerequisite of the cause p in um, pre and uh, cause. And then um, call def pass such again. So if not def pass such and uh, prerequisite, in that case, um, just return false. Oops. After uh, all cases are true, in that case, um, update. A prerequisite, a prerequisite of current course should be uh, empty so that uh, we understand uh, we definitely uh, complete this course and then return true so that is a uh, def for such and then um, after that uh, call def for such from outside um, so how can we do that? So for calls in range, um, num calls is, and then uh, if not def for such and uh, calls. So if we find a false way, false pass. So that means return false. And uh, if all cases are true. In that case, uh, we should return true. So the reason why um, we need to for loop is that um, uh, what if um, all um, all nodes are not connected, like a uh, um, zero to one and uh, two to three. In that case, uh, we should return true, but uh, these two um, uh, nodes and edges um, are not connected, but uh, we should return true. So that's why uh, we need to check like uh, from uh, each course to um, other courses. So that's why uh, we have to start from like one by one, um, like uh, based on like a uh, number courses. So in this case, um, we start from zero, start from one, start from two, start from three. Okay, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity and the space complexity uh, should be a uh, order of e plus v. So e is uh, like an h or like a prerequisite, number of prerequisite, or V means uh, like a number of nodes or number of cores. So we visit every single edge and every single um, node at most once. So that's why uh, order of E plus V. Yeah, all right. So that's all I have for you today. So if you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button or leave your comment. I'll see you in the next question.